the project is called Happy Place, and what I plan on doing for the rollout, it's gonna be uh, next month, right? So what I'm gonna do is have like create these teaser trailers, right? And what I'm gonna do, my new brand in a sense, will be like me being my own therapist in a sense, and I'm gonna make these cinematic uh, therapy sessions. They consider it like a skit to each of these songs, but like it's a teaser conversation uh, between myself when somebody watches that teaser and they're like oh shoot he's going to be talking about uh the rapper versus radio i have like different songs i'm going to tell you about that but like different talking points or subject matter that this project's going to address so leading up to the drop they'll be looking forward to it it's the mat work <laughs> So the question is, who, like, who am I gonna target now? In a sense, because I feel like my bank, like, this is not a Bangladesh crowd music, and, and I don't, they won't be my, I, like, for this music, it's not gonna be that fan base. And I'm trying to figure out, do I entertain, like, as marketing goes, do I entertain them or try to move to this area, which I, this is what I've been trying to do for a while, like, the American fan base. That I'm trying to develop. Well, yeah, if you, I mean, target the people you think are, that are gonna like it. And if you say you wanna move that brand direction, this is the opportunity. So, you know, reverse engineer, think about the people that it sounds like. It sounds like you already did that to the extent, you know, and all those people. Um, for the skits, you probably would be better off marketing them more heavily after the song is released. So, don't, so you might drop them beforehand, but don't really bring a hype. Don't like run ads and all that stuff on them until the song is actually released. So a lot of these, like people make popular music and then it, it pops off on TikTok. But th this song is much more like emotional, more conceptual, more transparent, right? So how does something like that translate over to TikTok? I was thinking about doing like a live performance of it, maybe like a minute of it or a verse of it, but like I'm trying to grasp that. Don't force it, man. Everything isn't for TikTok. You might have a song that's for TikTok, this might not be the one. I haven't heard it yet, but if you're already getting that feeling, it's probably not for TikTok at the very least. You said you did this therapy session back and forth type thing. So maybe you create some TikTok videos along the lines of that concept and hope that that part, those videos go viral and bring attention to the song and you. As far as marketing things goes, best way to bring the traffic uh to spotify like we we cuz it's an ep right now it's not like a single that one person i mean most people are just going to listen to the first few songs and then be done with it and that's why it's kind of like a hard way to drive the traffic onto uh spotify i mean running ads man you need a fan link for one or a toned in link do you use any of that stuff i'm aware of them i used them before Okay, so you at this point because because of the amount of ads that you run, you should go ahead and get one of those, run those, and let that be your center point in between Spotify. You don't need to keep running stuff into Spotify and not being able to retarget or truly understand what's happening. I, this is not the album or project that's gonna blow me up. It's just gonna you know like keep my fans and and introduce a new audience to a new side of me. Uh, you have to realize, man. Yeah, every song has a different fingerprint you can't market everything the exact same although there's some that happen to multiple that hit a certain formula if this one is that different then you need to look for other songs that were conceptual and, and look at where those songs got placed all right um who talked about them in your category and then start reaching out or getting them placed in those areas is there leading up to some kind of rollout like this, whether it's pre or post, is there something that I should look out for that I didn't consider? I'm like trying to like cover all bases heading into this. Yeah, I think you just need to, if it has that concept, you need to just amplify that concept. You can take that, create memes around it. And when I say meme, I don't mean funny necessarily, but the caption and that makes people question what's going on in the theme, get that posted on pages. The page, the YouTube page, Jubilee, does a very good job with that. Jubilee, I remember Jubilee. It's the one that like, they have like people uh, and they try to guess who's not the millionaire or things like that, it's right? All type of social experiments. Yeah. It sounds like your concept is going to play in some conversation point space. So look at what they've done. 
and then figure out how to mold that for your own conversation. And then also look at this artist named Yellow Pain. He does an excellent job of that as well. And then figure out how you can mold that around your conversation and, and then distribute it there. But you need to really hone in on the narrative because yeah. for those type of songs, it's either highly visual and that's a large part of why people like how you create more of a viral effect or impact with it, or it's just the interpret the narrative of the concept and being able to communicate that well over and over again. 